Leader, I think it's high time that we had a serious adult conversation about immigration in this country. By serious, I mean both appreciating the gravity of the situation and seriously looking for a solution as a result of that. And by adult, I mean a conversation devoid of name calling or labeling, labeling other speakers in order to allow yourself to be able to dismiss their points out of hand rather than engaging and addressing valid concerns. Up until now, perhaps we've had time to indulge that particular parliamentary laziness, but that time has passed. It's time to sit down, acknowledge the problems and begin to hash out some solutions. Us Irish are a placid bunch. It takes a lot to get us riled up. Successive governments have relied on this in implementing policies which the citizens of other countries wouldn't stand for. But we are getting there. We don't do French-style protests. But we did for the water charges, and it worked. We're heading there now again with immigration. I'm sure there are many nicely bound roadmaps and strategy documents that exist laying out in uh, the government's approach to inward migration into this country. But what it looks like on the ground is this. The government will not refuse migrants for fear of being called racist, xenophobic or uncaring. Having nowhere to adequately house these migrants, the government must spend millions of renting hotels and converting office blocks in the Greater Dublin area and surrounding counties almost exclusively in areas which have historically been working class and are a commuter or a satellite town. Having secured such premises, the government rents private buses to transport large crowds of migrants into these areas. If the locals are lucky, they may get some warning. These migrants are left there, provided with few paltry meals a day and left to their own devices seems in many cases to look like wandering around the towns in actively engaging in antisocial behaviour to be, be it fighting or harassment. Does it sound like caring for anyone? It doesn't benefit the locals and it doesn't sound like it benefits the migrants either. The people that have come to our country seeking refuge. That, sorry, this, you can answer me I later. When, you're making sorry, sorry. allegations against people who have come here seeking refuge sorry. from war-torn countries. You're here. You sorry. Know, as if just, they had nowhere else to go. The, the senator with, sorry, on, the senator you can, you can make your reply the, later when I finish my... Members can thank you. Uh, just so people are aware in relation to standing order. You know, I, there's nothing I'm making up in here. Okay, I, I, I respect I respect your your view. The hashtag ha, the hashtag Ireland is full is been trending on Twitter, and will continue to do so. I saw one user clap back with, mm, "No, actually, our population density is much lower than the Netherlands." which would be the definite rebuttal they thought was if we were taking in migrants to stand still in fields in order to achieve some arbitrary statistic of persons per square kilometre. But we are not. We don't have the houses. We don't have the healthcare system, which is now looking for a 1.4 billion bailout. We don't have the transport infrastructure. This country due to the policies of successive governments, does not have the structural... Objecting to this does not have the structural approach. Can we have a debate Can on I... it then? Why don't we have a debate on it? Why are we not allowed to discuss this in a debate Senator, with the Minister? Uh, there's no this problem discussing facts. This, this country, due Senator, to the policies of just successive... Just so, to be clear, in terms of the, the procedure of the House in relation to interruptions, there is Standing Order 39, which allows yes. for Senators to ask for 30 seconds. If the senator in position doesn't want to give 30 seconds, then the senator who is in position stays in position uninterrupted. Senator, you Thank may you. continue. This country, due to the policies of successive governments, does not have the structural capacity to take in tens of thousands of migrants annually. And yet, this government continues to do so. It is a policy devoid of reason. And something has to change. There is still time to stop this from getting any worse than it is. So let's start having that adult conversation in here with the relevant ministers. Thank you. Anish Shanador Nila Donna.